All right, we are live. Well, you know, recording. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right, Granny. We're going to be talking about wire glitching and how it's not bad because that's where we were and then we fucked up and then, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, wire glitching. That's right. That's a very good topic to broach in this um, little shack of mine, isn't it? Because... I did a little bit of my um, glitching. Well, when you say a little bit, I see a tiny portal above your head, so this is actually hilarious to me. Oh, yes, the, the little, um, yeah, it's cute, and it's on that really cute miniature scaffolding there. And But I actually used the scale glitch to do this, which is this a glitch, is the question. Because during that, to... To use that glitch, the scale glitch and the wire glitch and the reverse wire glitch, everything you well, it's do just a to technique. Use that it's not actually a glitch. It's just it's easier to say that. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I'm I totally agree that it's not a technique. Uh, I think I mean sorry. It's <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It is a technique, totally but agree. not an actual genuine but like glitch like you're exploiting. No, it's not exploitation. Absolutely, yeah. It's definitely a technique and, and not a glitch in the game. You know, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna quote that little spot though. That'd be hilarious. Just literally <laughs> just a three second video of me saying, Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> you know, that's funny. That was awesome. Go for it, man. Yes, I I think that using the wire toggle mode is definitely a part of the game. And, you know, I think it's interesting and it's such a pity. Why did I stand back? I don't know, but it's hilarious to... because now I'm going to move the camera. Hey, oh, you did a fancy spin there. Look at me. In I know. My seat. Si well, we're sitting totally through the chair because, in my yeah. Seat. <laughs> we break the fourth so, wall because we're geck. So, you know how it goes. Yeah. So, it would be really interesting to see what other people think about that what we've been talking about with the you know whether the um wire toggle mode is a glitch or not because you know i come across groups all the time that say you know no no glitch building and i'm thinking what are they doing it's such a awesome part of the game well and you're talking yeah, to the same people who are having problems with it being available to you in game on the menu so i think those are just antagonistic jerks <laughs> let's be free okay if it's available in the game then arguably then everything's a glitch if that's they're going with that logic because it's genuinely oh, on the menu brilliant brilliant way of looking at it totally agree i think that if it's there on the menu and it's something you can use without mods or yep. without, you know, all of that stuff, I think it's part of the game. And I love it. And so do so many people, especially in the building community. You know, I mean, all the videos I ever see on building, uh, ones, you know, uh, uh, YouTubers that are into building, they love using the wire toggle mode. And I don't see any YouTubing videos on building No Man's Sky that's just, you know, uh, vanilla, say, so to speak. Oh, well, you I'd know. probably be the only person any? that would, technically. Because, number, I don't really use that. The only time I did was when I planted my crops, and that was it. Because I didn't want to go up ladders. I hate ladders so very much. You could, when you built your kaleido kaleidoscope with Well, that yeah, time. but that was when I was learning with you. But I'm talking about just yeah. me naturally in the wild. If you're like, hey, Zenobia, by the time I log back on, I want to see, like, this cool new build that you did. You know, just, like, say, like, it's, like, some kind of, you know, build-off. You would come back and you would not see one wire. From... It's not because I hate it or anything like that. I'm not like that. It's just that that is vanilla. You know what I mean? You're not using any unique techniques, you know what I mean? You're not using any other brush other than what is available to you on that menu, you know, in the... 
What is it? Z menu? Were... Yes, yes. Um, that's right. Uh, well, at least you on PC. Go... On PC. We, are, we only talk PC, don't we? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, if um, they know what the equivalent <laughs> is, I mean, that's great, because I would know. In, in some of my building videos, I put it on screen what the what the things are to do that um, technique in, you know, on consoles and that. I put it up there in type. Yeah, but, but you Bob like, Ross this game, okay? I just build, like, pretty much the Mud Shack, a.k.a. the vanilla mode. <laughs> Potato mode, I guess. You know, the people who just grab it and go, you know, mode. It's not... Honestly, wire toggle is when you really get into the, the detailing brushes is the best way to describe it. Because you can actually angle it and everything. You get what I mean? I agree. Yes. And even then, I mean, would you go as far as to say that even using the wire toggle mode is still vanilla? Yes, because it's in the menu technically, but I wouldn't consider it under like the ba I would say that's more of an advanced building technique, if that makes sense. Because... If you're Some just a cherry on top. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're literally able to influence which way and how the direction is and everything like that. You know, the facing, even you can even flip it upside down that way. So, yeah, I definitely say that's an advanced one. Wire glitching is not a glitch. It's just it's just called that because it's easier than saying wire toggle mode. That's a lot to say. <laughs> WTM I mean, most people would not know what that means. I mean, legitimately, they probably <laughs> wouldn't know. If you scream that out in the middle of Nexus and see if anyone picks out on it, I bet you almost probably all of them in the lobby is going to be like, what the f- Why? Why do you say that? What does that even mean? It's a start of new trend, day. Eh? But I'm just saying, wire glitching is a lot easier. Rolls off the tongue. Yes. And it's yeah, also been yeah, recognized yeah. by so many people what that technique is anyway. Why change it up? Exactly, exactly. Yes, I totally agree. I, I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's part of the game. It's the wire toggle mode, but it's just being called that. Besides, the devs would have fixed it if it was it actually that. a game-breaking bug. I'm sorry, okay? Like, whoever yeah. is cut, cutting up a fuss about it, I'm sorry if you're watching this video and you're offended, but... Sometimes I have to step on some toes, okay? It's <laughs> recognized. It's in the menu. The devs have not ripped it out over eight years. I'm telling you, it's a feature. They not better not. Oh, well, even if they do, go for it. <laughs> like, bring it on. <clears throat> we really needed a camera oh, guy. You know that, it, right? Wouldn't it be nice? One day we'll be rich. Now, not I do love... We're going to be rich? When? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh. I do love the wired toggle mode because of being able to shrink down the teleporter, which I I just think is a ridiculous size, to be honest. And also, <coughs> pardon me, I've got solar panels out there on the little stumps. Yeah, I seen that when I was roof. walking out there earlier. And they're so cool, you know, they're tiny weeny ones and they don't take up any space. Okay, so, um, yeah, if anyone wants to talk about uh, whether they think why toggle mode is a glitch or just guilt part of the game. Well, I mean, uh, an opinion is an opinion, yeah. but yeah. I think this is highly subjective because you're more or less what they're complaining about is it's a feature in the game that they are disliking is what I'm getting at here because you can't just call it a bug or a glitch if it's been there for eight years okay yeah exactly well, okay and it can technically but they've made it into a feature but it is actually on the menu they actually had to do art for it draw that little plug in there actually put mechanically add that into the script for you to click that thing and use it as a tool that's Sorry, not a bug and <laughs> what can you use the wire toggle mode for? I, mean, I, I don't know. Used. You're the you're the builder here, man. I'm just talking. Oh <laughs> I don't know. I've never used it for anything else. <laughs> uh, so I mean, electrical. Uh, 
No, because you can get the electric cable out of the build menu, oh. you know, where the solar panels and that are. You don't need to well, use the wire toggle mode. Okay, well, if you want an idiot to answer it, I'm that idiot, I would make a spider web. Wow, that could be fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's what it looks like to me. When you're straight everywhere, I'm like, ah, oh, look, a spider web, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> should have all of that hidden because I've got that thing un under the house. You know, the orange thing. Well, that's when you're done. Spot. I'm talking about when you first start. I'm saying, you know, when I'm I just watching. Start. Yeah, I'm seeing you just etching it everywhere. I'm like, oh, that's a magnificent spider web. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to we'd like to hear other people's ideas on that. Yeah, I mean, mm. they're real, they, I mean, they can they are allowed to say, "Hey, this part of the game is something I don't like, but to actually go out and call it—I mean, you're 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 implying, at least the people you've encountered, are saying that this is not this is actually a glitch, this is a bug, and that should be in the game. But yet again, they're just saying that they don't like a certain feature that's in the game. No. That's what I'm hearing. Like seeing which I mean, it's a, if everyone's got their autonomous choice, right? But. It sort of, I just find it a bit funny how there's a lot of groups that say no building, no um, wire glitching, you know, in like on Facebook and that, like they're, they're puritanical about it, some people. Yet again, care. that's I'm just an not... antagonistic trait though. That's it what, is. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just yeah. them being uh, controlling. That's it. Control freaks. Yeah, that, that's beyond even no, that's even beyond No Man's Sky at this point. That's actually just a personality problem. Literally, it is. Yeah. That's all it boils and down to. I don't care how what, how people play this game, except when people build over crash sites and treasure. Well, that's sites. yet again part of that category, Granny. That's just every. That's a personality problem. That's not even a No Man's Sky problem. You have yeah. the freedom to do anything until it hurts yourself or someone else. And if it's exactly. impairing gameplay, then yes, that's part of that. Hey, you're a cluster B. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That's so just... that, that brings me around to the expedition. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> so wasn't oh, no. it fun? That's the first thing I want to say about it. I really liked no. it. I, it had a lot of the fishing, which, you know, obviously, you know I love fishies. And uh, if anyone knows and watches my videos, I'm always going, he fishy, you know, because I'm stupid like that. But uh, the only thing I probably would say is make the fishy for storms a little bit less rare to get. Because I only got one fish after, like, 12 storms. And then, like, another 12 storms. And then I was like, wow, I finally got two fish. You know. So it's 24 Man, it's... storms later, and then I finally got three fish. You know. <laughs> and it's in, in that, I think it's in the fourth rendezvous. Is it the actual fourth rendezvous planet, or is it in that? I think it's in that system. But this planet is just amazing. With the storm frequency. It's got oh, yeah, I got a high frequency one time to the mm. point that I got mm. lightning and tornadoes mm. that picked me up during my fishing adventures. I'm telling you, that fishing pole isn't stay saving you for that tornado, okay? It just picks you right up. Yours on this planet or a different one? Oh, no, a totally different planet, trust me. Wow, there you go. Well, this was the only... This, this one I found pretty good. Um... But, again, it took so long that I built this entire base in between storms. Yeah, I just looked for a place with activated copper for that one to make sure the <laughs> frequency was pretty high. But I found one, and it was still real slow, so I went to another activated copper one. Boy, was that a mistake. There was lightning. There was tornadoes. There was fishing rods swirling around my head because I had it out at the time. <laughs> I was it like, should have gone back to that crazy base that I built the life raft base in the middle of the ocean that was tipping around everywhere I should have gone back there to fish eh? <laughs> see you are a tornado you created the tornado <laughs> <laughs> that skiff was uh, well, definitely not leveled man 
all in all, it was pretty good, wasn't it? We did yeah. have trouble with multiplayer, though, after our first phase one together. We did that, no problem. And maybe phase two we did as well. But then uh, after that, uh, we had some trouble with multiplayer. And I think it was after a patch um, that that started. I'm not sure. It could have just been the amount of traffic playing the game. I don't know. But I, Well, I mean, we that, played during really heavy times before, especially during uh, mm, Liquidators. Levive and liquidators, yeah. Liquidators, liquidators was really heavy with people, and we had no problems. And I it, feel it, that that's, that's not true. the problem this time. Mm, that's so true. We played the whole entire um, expedition without being kicked out once. Yeah, that was so, fantastic. I thought it was going to be like that again, but no. Well, I mean, <laughs> I know some of it is your computer somehow. But the other half might be No Man's Sky, though. There's, I'm not sure. Well, you know, I'm not having many problems with the connection because usually you could connect to me when your computer's behaving. I don't know about that. That's up in the air, I have to say. Unless there's some other people that can comment and say, yeah, I was having problems with this, or no, I was doing just fine, you know. But then again, I don't know how many people play it multiplayer as well, so who knows. I don't know. It's odd. But, uh, yeah, all in all, it was pretty good. The, it took a while. I, I enjoyed the challenge. I did it, it took ages to get those three stormfish. That was the hardest bit for me. Yes, and it was. The, and the other, the other fire scale fish, whatever it was. Um, but in after I got it, it was really great because it was such a challenge. You know, I enjoyed it actually. In the end, no, I loved um, it at that. Yeah. But I'm just saying the frequency yeah. of stormfish I feel should be brought up just by just a slight hair because like I felt like it was almost I mean if I'm swirling around the sky okay granted yes I sh I'm too far off the land for my feet to touch the ground and throw that line into the you know sea while I'm swirling around yeah maybe I can see that point but I should have gotten more fishies before and after tornado you know the same. That final fish, you know, the fire scale one. I tried for a good couple you of hours. You mean the angular? The actual one called the angular. The angular, yeah. the angu angular. yes, that one. But it, the, I think the milestone was something to do with fire scales, wasn't it? Well, it said that in the description. It, it was yeah, like you we old just... fire scales or something like that, but he's actually called the angular. It yeah, did, that's it. But it did kind of throw you off a little bit because you're on a planet that had, like, temperate climate. So if you heard the word fire, you would naturally imply, oh, well, maybe that's on a magnet, you know, magma-based planet of all three biomes of that. I'm pretty sure there's a I... sub-biome to that. I really believe that. I remember when we were playing it, you were looking for it on all sorts of different hot planets, weren't you? Well, not the angular himself. I was looking for a another magma or hot or scorched based planet. That's why I'm thinking there's three technically biomes of that because the fish were telling me that it was in three different kind of locations. You get what I mean? Mm. Scorched. Mm. Then there's the whatever you want to call it, the hot planet, which has because if okay. There's a basalt hot, then there's the, I don't know how to just categorize this, because basalt can also have volcanics on it. Whereas another oh, hot yeah, planet well, yeah. might not have basalt, but still has basalt. volcanoes present. But then there's yeah. the scorched one, so there's almost like three sub, I don't know how to describe that. It's a really weird <laughs> spot. Interesting, because... There, um, there are volcanoes that have basalt because um, that's... Um, I'm not going to explain it. It's too complicated. No, no, I'm just but talking about some, just in-game here. Yeah, where there's some... Yeah. yeah. and But there are on, on Earth. There's volcanoes that erupt and they don't have basalt. They have rhyolite and they are more explosive 
than the flowing volcanoes that have basalt. Yeah, I'm just talking about the planets, though, because, like, when you're looking for a fishy, yeah. and apparently it is not the basalt hot variant, but it's not yeah. the scorched variant. So you got to look for that very specific biome type for that fish, if that makes sense. Because, like, there was one time I was looking around, it's like, okay, I finally found a hot planet. It was scorched. Okay, that was wrong. Okay, got it. That's cool. Move on. I went to a basalt variant. That was not it. So it's like I said, it's a very small region, but I think there's three biome types of that. I don't know what you would call the other type. I guess a basalt variant, the non-basalt variant, and then you had the scorched. I'm glad that one's really identifiable. Those other two were really close together. Interesting that it ended up being on the fifth rendezvous point. Go to the fifth one. Just fish up fishies. Well, I was fishing there for a good couple of hours, and then I gave up on it, and I came here and did all of this. Okay, I give. Store. Okay, never mind. Don't go to the fifth one. She lied. She lied a big then, time. You can't go there to the magma fishy. Then I went back. The next day after the patch, I don't know, but you had the patch before I did, so it didn't make any difference to you. But I went back um, the next day and I was there for 30 seconds and I caught it. You oh, know, at Rendezvous 5? The... Yeah, Rendezvous 5. You know my base. Okay, guys, I lied with... now. Damn, I, had, I just became the biggest liar. Okay. Got a. Why do you like this? I got got a. My base with the circular um, glass tunnel that you can walk through. <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing was amazing. I mean, I didn't see oh, it in game yet, but uh, oh, yeah, I oh, see the screenshot. It's gorgeous. It's nice walking through it. <laughs> oh, but, no, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know it would. I've built circular glass things before and haven't been able to walk through them. That, you know, but I can with this one. So it took a while. But anyway, um, that, um, yeah, it was like I went back, got in the skip and next to that base and put the line in, caught three fish and the third one was, it was like, yay, that was unexpected. <laughs> I remember our first uh, take on episode two of Gek Talk, which is yours is Chinwag, but... We were going to actually talk about what did the vase mean. Guess what? It meant fishies. Because we were just talking about that. But we never got that episode out because her version got messed up. And then I just yeah. deleted mine that we were going to redo it. But the like the expedition dropped and we're like, wow, we guess we don't have to talk about that anymore. You're late on that now. But um, yeah, it's the water urn. Uh, what? I don't know why um, it didn't occur to either of us that it was a water urn. That, you know, the ones that... Well, I did with... say vase at the time. And vase yeah, can but... mean, like, potted soil or water, you know. Uh, yeah. Realistically, but, like... but I mean, yeah, I didn't come that close to it. I just knew it was close, you know. Yeah, they used to, they used to carry the water around in those and, and store it. Uh, they're pretty. Imagine how heavy that would be. They would I've need several people. people to carry that thing. Wouldn't they? It would be heavy before they even put the water in it. Yeah. <laughs> and I bet you they had to have some very strong, burly men going up there and saying, Yes, I will carry some water. Yeah. Yeah, they probably got their poor slaves to do it. No! <laughs> Granny! God, no. <laughs> Uh, why do I see shark fins occasionally and birds fly through your house? Granny, your house is weird. No, isn't it cool? I love it. You like, it's in a backdrop. Yeah. It's just weird crap happening back there. Like, right now, it's pretty normal. There's a fish just kind of swimming in the background. And also, you see shark fins. It's like, hmm. Uh, I did one zoom past a little while ago. And oh, no. it's like... Yeah, it's kind of very interesting in that regard i guess well you wait until i make the I like super it. sloshy house where the house is partially submerged underwater and you have to like walk through it it's gonna be irritating for everybody else but i'm gonna totally love it 
can't wait to see it. I can't think this is probably one of my most favourite bases that I've ever built. I really do. And, you know, I've built bigger ones and more difficult ones, but I love this base. It's got a feel about it, don't you think? Wouldn't you love to have a holiday shack exactly like this? Yeah, it would be cool. But don't worry, guys. She's going to make this her main copy. She says it's her expedition one, but I know better. <laughs> I'm running out of space in my game. Anyway, so, yep, I think that um, it was a really good expedition. I really enjoyed it. I love the fishing. I think it adds another element of exploration to the game. You know, I know another game that can't even get their toe in the water. So <laughs> that wouldn't be the Starfield, would it? I wasn't gonna mention names. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean, not Starfield. I mean, Field Star. Yeah, yeah, great game. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Field yeah, Star, geez, the great the game. Dorito game. Oh, the Doritos yeah. game. <laughs> One day, Granny will make a video about that. But you know, yeah. it's it's months of talk, but no show. We, I don't know. Maybe they don't exist. <laughs> I'll never forget. When you sent me that photo of the ad on the Doritos A pack. field star of Doritos. Yeah. It was so ironical because I was, I, I just made that video about the, you know, f a fine romance with a cheesy dialogue and that. And then you sent me that. I nearly had a heart failure. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you poor woman, Not, yeah. Yeah, I don't she... think anyone else found it as funny as what I did. Oh, you did. You found it pretty funny. Oh, hell yeah, I did. Well, of course, I have that sense of humor, you know, so. I... Mm. Pretty good. Some people anyway, are just too serious, it... so I get it. Oh, wait, what? What oh, was you going to add? Oh, my bad. You've got to have fun, haven't you? Yes, God. Really life's too fun. short. Can you um, think of anything else we can talk about or, um, you know? We covered the thing with the, uh, is it a glitch or isn't it a glitch, even though it's called that, which we ignore. <laughs> I say, if you want to talk about glitches, Granny, okay? I'm going to address <laughs> the elephant in the room right now. Gek chairs. Mm -hmm. We cannot sit in these chairs. Worth a damn. Oh, I know. I'm telling you, our asses are on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Zoom down. I'll have a look at that. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! She's gonna have to put a sensor bar on the yak butt. Oh no! It's a very thick and chunky belt I'm wearing. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to really, really want to know what a glitch is, that's a glitch. Okay, it is. Um, um. Ah, I will go around to the back view. you. No! Ready? Yeah, there you are. Look. Yeah, I know. Enough is in our deck chairs. I, so, I'm sorry, guys. She probably will add a sensor bar, even though technically she doesn't do you, have to. What do you suggest we do about this problem? Uh, build several chairs up, sit in that one, then then delete the chair that we were sitting in, but we'll still sit in the animation until the devs save all of the skeks. Or plead to the John Atlas. Need to do something about these chairs for sure. Has it always happened, or is no? It's a, it it's more. It's it's been like several patches ago that it kind of got all botched up. But anyway, shall we that... wrap this up? Yeah, wrap it up. I can't think of anything. We've probably said way too much. Well, I, the, I mean, there's editing, much. Granny. That's what we use it for. Except for there if you're is. not pro, but then, you know, I'll just tell people to just do conspicuous jump cuts at random points. <laughs> <laughs> just it's go really weep. hard to know what bits to cut out, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all anyway. right. Thanks for watching, guys. That was all amazing. Another episode yeah, of Yak Talk. Hope oh, you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of our discussion. And please remember to comment and let us know what you think. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. See you Until for the next time. episode three next time.